Unfortunately, the metabolic syndrome comprises a huge problem in our society, not only on a health and personal level, but also for economical reasons. Worldwide, about 1 billion people are suffering from the metabolic syndrome, which is also known as syndrome X or insulin resistance syndrome. But how is it diagnosed? According to the World Health Organization, WHO, to be diagnosed with metabolic syndrome, a patient needs to meet three out of these five criteria. Blood glucose greater than 110 mg per deciliter or diagnose diabetes long with the presence of two or the more following criteria. Waist circumference over 90 cm in men and a little bit less in women. Or body max index, in short BMI, above 30 kg per square meter. HDL cholesterol below 35 mg per deciliter in men or 40 mg per deciliter in women or drug treatment for low HDL cholesterol. Blood triglycerides over 150 mg per deciliter or drug treatment for elevated triglycerides. And blood pressure over 140 to 90 or drug treatment for hypertension. Maybe you have seen some of these terms when you did a blood test at the doctor. There you see, I am that important in the metabolic syndrome, so I will play a big role in this course. You think only because you are elevated in blood you are more important? I am circulating in the bloodstream and accumulating in fat and other tissues. I guess that makes me a bit more important than you. I have to disagree here. As high salt content actually causes high blood pressure, you should not forget about me. Yes, all of these nutrients play their individual and important role in the metabolic syndrome, which is a multifactorial and highly complex disease. And we will explain their roles throughout this course, which means that you will meet them probably more often. Really, the metabolic syndrome can be a disease of the whole body. There are several other diseases associated with this condition, such as cardiovascular disease, also known as heart disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, and also hormonal imbalance syndrome, the polycystic ovary syndrome. Then there is type 2 diabetes, kidney disease, and also inflammatory diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, and even cancer and neurological disorders. They all play together and influence each other. So we reach the end of this first video. Summing up, in this video, we introduce you very broadly to the metabolic syndrome and its diagnosis, which follows the three out of five criteria. You also heard about the diseases that are associated with the metabolic syndrome. 